Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's budget closeout video. So for today, we're gonna to be closing out our budget for the month of September. So to get started, we're just gonna take a look at our bills. We're gonna go through sinking funds, cash envelopes, all the good stuff and kind of reset for October. So I've already created our October budget. So if you wanna check out that video, it was posted just a few days ago. Um, but yeah, this one, we're just gonna close out everything for September. So as I mentioned, we're gonna go ahead and close out our bills and everything was pretty much exactly as planned. So what I'm actually going to do, so we were under um, in a couple, couple of things so the gym we were under by 402 and then we were under for our cell phone for 511 so I'm actually going to subtract that total because the difference here let me pick a green color maybe this one I don't know um, so we were under by nine dollars and 13 cents for bills which means that our total bills were $3,067.21. And, and sorry, you guys can't really see the calculator. I normally try to scooch it in here so you can kind of see what the numbers come out to. So, okay. So that takes care of that. So that was really easy because everyone, um, everyone, everything was pretty much exactly as planned. And then going into our expenses, so for Andrew, a lot of these cash categories are gonna be just exactly as we planned them to be. So that did not turn out straight. It's very hard for me to write on my iPad unless it's like tilted, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. So I'm just gonna get this out of the way for a minute. For the cleaners, so we're gonna go ahead and pop one over here. So I actually delayed posting this video by a couple days because we had a few transactions that needed to take place for me to close out the budget. One thing was the cleaners. They came yesterday and that was $200. So we have an ending balance of $20. And I can go ahead and mark that off. So, Going back over to our budget, we add a difference of $20, and that means that we spent a total of 380. And then for Costco, as of last week, we had negative 226, and we didn't have any um, transactions other than gas, which, which is separate since then so what I'm gonna actually do make sure images is off I'm going to copy this and we will just paste it over here so that takes care of that and that means since we are over we spent a total of 502.26 for Costco Date night, all of our cash is gone. So if you guys saw that in the October budget, family fun, date night, all of that was used up. For gas, we did, and actually, hello. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I was like accidentally marking, oh my gosh, what did I do? Ah, okay, I think I got it. Apparently I had my Apple Pencil a little too close, but we did fill up on gas recently. So, and let me just go ahead and do, we'll just fill this in real quick. So we spent zero for Costco. And that means that we had that negative 226. For gas, we had 69.35. And we did fill up recently, and that was 73.12. So I'm gonna mark that off. And that means that 73.12, we are negative by $3.77. So not too bad. So I'm going to copy that and we will go over here 
and put that right there. And that means that we spent a total, just adding that overage of 203.77. And then these were as planned. And then groceries. So if you guys saw the October budget video, you know that we had $166 left over i we did not use any of it i put it aside for my sister um, because she's going to be watching our dogs while we're in north carolina so i want her to have money for groceries and then to like order food if she wants and just some extra like spending money um for when she's here so what i actually did was i took forty dollars from my personal money because i wanted it to be an even 200 and then i took like the six dollars and put it in my personal money so we're gonna give her $200 for groceries, gas, just general watching the dogs while she's here. So we had a total of 166 left over, um, which means that we only spent $334. So pretty good. And we are leaving, um, I'm filming this on a Friday and um, we're still trying to like eat up everything. So uh, we wanna try to have like, you know, make sure our fridge, like nothing goes rotten while we're gone. Although my sister will be here, so that'll help. I'm sure she'll eat some of it. So, and then household, all of that was spent. I did um, get some stuff for the girls for the plane ride, just some like crafts and activities and things like that that will hopefully keep them busy. Maddie's money was $20, although we did not, um, she did not do any chores in September, which is kind of actually a little odd. Like she normally is very on top of it. She's really learned the value of a dollar and she likes like saving up for things and stuff, but we've just been really busy. I feel like September was just an especially busy month for us. And it's just something that we didn't think about honestly since she started like taekwondo and piano and she's in school now and all that kind of stuff too and she's got play dates and she's been doing like sleepovers and things like that it's just something that doesn't come up very often especially during the week so it's something that we'll probably just have to remind her of on the weekend like you know do you want to you know try to earn some money this weekend and kind of give her those opportunities so um piano was 180 for the lessons we pay her piano instructor in cash so that was that. And then my personal money was 160. And there's that. And then unbudgeted, we did have an unbudgeted expense. So my, um, I was charged for book of the month and I could have sworn. I am almost positive and I need to look through my emails to see, but I'm pretty sure I canceled that. So I was actually really surprised that that came through so um anyway so that was 1735 of that random nest so i'll need to double check on that and i need to do that like probably today so i'm just going to copy that paste it here turn that red and then i'm going to copy that and then we will do that change the color to red and that and then that takes care of our expenses so now I'm going to add all those up real quick and we've got 160 for Andrew's personal money 380 for the cleaners 502.26 for Costco 400 total for date night and family fun 203.77 for gas 334 for groceries uh, 100 for household, 20 for Maddie's money, 180, whoops, 180 for piano, 160 for my personal money, and then 1735. So a total of 2,457 dollars and 38 sense and then we'll double check our math with these differences over here so i'm going to add the unders first the 166 everything in green plus 20 
and then we're going to subtract 226, subtract 377, and then subtract 1735, and that is a difference of 16262, and then I'm going to add the 245738, and that equals $2,620. So perfect. That's that. And then for sinking funds, that was $3,075. Um, and then I'm not gonna go over the emergency fund and stuff because we keep that stuff private. But that takes care of all of that. And then getting into groceries and stuff. Well, all of this, so I guess I'll update it real quick. But we had 166 remaining. Um, it was a little like, I don't know, I feel like I filmed my October budget a little early. I usually like to do my results before my budget. So it's a little wonky, but that's okay. Um, we only spent $32 on groceries. We do get the bulk of our groceries from Costco, so I think that's why. But we're gonna keep the budget as is for groceries and then we'll decrease it if we need to, but I'm happy overall with our grocery spending for the month. And then we spent the 20 for household. We spent the 73 for date night. And we spent the 72 for family fun. And then my money, my money is actually a little wonky right now because, okay, so I added the 160 from October's personal money. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60. So this was added to my wallet from our, for our October budget. And then I had 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Ending balance. So 110 minus 61 means I spent $49 and that makes sense because I added um, $40 to my sister's money and then I think I got coffee or something so I had some change. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 7, 58, 59, 60, 61. So I'm gonna use some of that money tonight. I'm gonna go do nails with my friend Kelsey when she gets off work so that'll be fun. Um, so I'm gonna use my personal money for that but that takes care of all of our cash envelopes all of that is taken care of we did track the unbudgeted so i'm going to mark that off and then we get into sinking funds so i wrote out the balance in our sinking fund savings account so i lump all of our sinking funds together in a savings account and then i reconcile everything at the end of the month so that is what we're adding to sinking funds for october two thousand six hundred seventy five dollars and then that is the balance that was in um, our savings account. And then this is our new balance once we transfer the money over for sinking funds. That's what we should have in that savings account. So that's kind of how I do that. But let's make sure everything adds up. So for beauty, we had 133.27. I spent $90 getting a fill recently, which that took that down to 43. I went yesterday and got a lash fill. I love my new lash lady. She's awesome. <laughs> so I'm really happy with how they've been turning out. And we are negative um, by 73 cents for beauty because Andrew went to the barber shop today and got his hair done and stuff. And then for birthdays, we picked up Maddie's best friend a birthday gift for $32.54. So that brought, da brought that down to $68.97. And then I needed to get some tissue paper to wrap her gift, which was $250. So $66.47 there. Nothing for car, nothing for Christmas. Whoops, scrolled too far. Clothing, Andrew, we got Kohl's cash when we um, went originally to get a bunch of shoes. We had $50 and so he went back to Kohl's and he got um, some slippers and some flip flops. 
and he went $15.62 over, so he now has um, 44, I'm not gonna worry about the parentheses, 44.98, and it's a totally different color red, but that's fine. Um, and then nothing there. So what I'm gonna do, I've got this little section down here that says total of all sinking funds. I'm gonna add all the balances up real quick, and then that'll make it a little easier. So 6647, I'm gonna add all the positive balance first. So 500, 50, and then everything else is negative. So minus 73, and then minus 9436, minus 3888, and then minus 4498. So total of all of these is, um, kind of want to write and wait, is 4,300 or four, $437.52. Feeling a little scatterbrained because we have so much we still have to do before we leave for our trip. Um, I'm currently doing laundry. We still have to pack, like there's a whole bunch. So I'm just like, ah, a little scatterbrained today. But um, okay, so that takes care of that. And then let's figure this out. So we picked up costumes for the kids, including one for my husband. He's gonna probably kill me for showing this to you guys. <laughs> but I have to show you. So it's so funny. Um, first of all, Julia requested to be a crocodile. It was so hilarious. I asked her, I was like, what do you wanna be for Halloween? And I was like, do you wanna be Sky from Paw Patrol? Um, do you wanna be Minnie Mouse? Cause she loves Paw Patrol. She loves Minnie Mouse. Like. Um, she loves dinosaurs, so I was like, do you want to be a dinosaur? And she goes, I want to be a crocodile. And I was like, okay, um, that's a little random, but I'll see what I can do. And then I was out shopping with Kelsey. I feel like maybe I've told you guys this story before, but maybe not, I don't know. I was um, out shopping with Kelsey, and Kelsey found a crocodile costume in Julia's size at Target. Like, how insanely random is that? So here is Julia in her crocodile costume. Like how funny is that? And then <laughs> here's the costume I picked up from Andrew. So he hates it. Um, he wants me to return it, so I'm gonna return it. Um, if you can't tell, he's not a fan. <laughs> but I joke because Andrew is, he's got very high standards when it comes to food. Like he will not eat fast food. He like has to get all the organic, all that stuff. And I swear to you that man's favorite food of all the foods is hot dogs. If I bring home a pack of hot dogs, he will go through them in like a day and a half they will be gone. He loves them. He will never admit that, but it's his favorite food. Like if you ask him what his favorite food is, he'll be like, oh, I don't know. It's hot dogs. It's hot dogs. <laughs> so I just thought it was really funny. He did not think it was so funny and I will be returning it cause whatever. But yeah. So anyways, um, that's that. So the balance in holidays right now is $40. I still need to pick up Maddie's um, costume and then return that hot dog one so that'll take place probably when we get back from our trip and then house maintenance is good medical so Maddie did have to go in for an eye exam her teacher um, had sent her to the nurse because she was having trouble like seeing the board and it's funny because we've asked Maddie before we're like do you have trouble like seeing and all that kind of stuff and she never like She's always like, no, like I can see just fine. Turns out she is like, she can't see far away. She can see up close, but she can't see far away. So we did um, get her some glasses and we had to pay for the eye exam at Costco. So it's pretty expensive because we don't have vision insurance, but it was $195.36 for everything. So. That's that, and then miscellaneous is good. The puppies, Andrew's been on a little bit of a shopping spree, let me just say. He accuses me of spoiling these dogs. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think that is true entirely. I think he, I mean, we both spoil them, if we're being honest. So 14.50, after he got them some new like little crate beds, 
I think he's feeling bad that we're like leaving them for so long, but they'll be fine. And then he got them this like fancy water dish. So that put us at negative $24.00 and 55 cents and then he went to the little like country sh uh, country shop they have a whole bunch of cute things for like animals and dogs and stuff like that and he picked them up some really big really nice antler bones and then a bunch of like collagen bones and stuff like that he spent a lot of money he did talk to me beforehand and i was like yeah just do it because they're gonna need things to chew on while we're gone and the antlers should really last them like a really long time. So they'll be fine. They're good on food and like treats and stuff. Like we shouldn't really need much for them, but we're very negative now in that. But they will be very happy while we're gone. They'll have their antlers, their collagen bones, like all that kind of stuff. My sister is obsessed with the dog, so they're gonna get loved on and all sorts of attention. So they'll be fine, but yeah, we're very uh, negative now. <laughs> in their account so we'll have to yeah and i think we only added 150 to their account for october so we're only going to be positive by like a couple bucks but um we'll make up for it in november so nothing for school nothing for subscriptions and then i did get a bunch of like travel stuff for vacation i picked up like travel hygiene things and um, some activities for the girls and just different things like that. So that was $117.95. It was actually more than that, but I had credit card re rewards and I had a gift card and all that kind of stuff. So I deducted those things from the like total and then that was what was left. So um, that worked out pretty nicely. So $193. 05 is what we have left in vacation. So now we're going to add up again all of the positive totals first and then we'll subtract the negative. So 195 at 36 and my camera's about to die on me. Um 193.05 25 9 back. <laughs> and then we're going to subtract 30.05 minus 46.38 minus 147.25 equals 239.55. Hopefully, this is all right. 239.55. So now I'm going to add that to the 437.52. And oh my goodness, look at that. It worked out. <laughs> 677.07. That's exactly what we had. So that works out really, really nicely. So yeah, I just kind of did like a rough calculation of everything just to kind of, again, like reconcile stuff, make sure that everything that, you know, needed to be transferred out. Because what we do, so we have a Citibank credit card. We use that for gas. We use that for sinking funds. And at the end of the month, and honestly, throughout the month, we pay off the credit card anytime there's a balance, I just pay it off. Um, but then at the end of the month, we have to make sure that the money that was spent from sinking funds is transferred out of that sinking fund savings account to our checking account to like replenish the fact that we've, you know, paid off the credit card and all that kind of stuff. So everything like balances out. So yeah. So yeah, everything worked out that worked out really nicely and that is pretty much it for September's budget I think yeah I think that's everything so I will be checking in for week one and week two not next week but the following week so for the next week we're going to be traveling and I am not going to have any videos up next week until possibly Saturday or Sunday. Um, I already recorded my like digital plan with me. I just haven't done the voiceover for it yet. So I'm hoping to do the voiceover for it like either the night that we come home or like that morning or something. So we'll be back October 7th and I'm hoping to either again like do the voiceover the night that we come back or the next morning. So next weekend I should have a digital plan with me up. But other than that, I won't have any other videos. And then the following week, I will have videos. I'm gonna try to film a behind the scenes video. And then week one and week two's check-in are gonna be lumped together. 
because I'm not going to be, you know, checking in with the budget really next week. We're not going to be doing our normal spending. Everything's going to be vacation. So um, I'll be keeping track of what we spend on vacation, but we're not going to go like grocery shopping and that kind of stuff, you know. And then, um, and then we'll just kind of be back to the regular normal stuff. So anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching me close out our budget. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below how September went for you. I would say overall, it went awesome for us. I feel really, really stinking good about like the whole system we have in place with like our cash and just ev everything set up. I feel like we've had a lot of, um, I don't know, just a lot of like trial and error in the last few years. And I feel like we had to have some moments of honesty <laughs> with ourselves, if that makes sense. Like sometimes you gotta take a good hard look in the mirror and be like, okay, let's get real here. Like this is what we need to work on. And I feel like we've gotten to that place where we've made lots of mistakes. We've tried lots of different things. We've had things not work and some things work really great. And I feel like it's kind of all gelled together to become this. And I feel really good about it. I feel like we're doing really good. I feel confident in what we're doing. Um, I don't know, I just feel like a really good sense of peace with it. And it's something that, you know, we can stick with for a long time. So yay for us. <laughs> it's not always been this way. Trust me, if you've been here for a while, you've seen us go over budget on groceries and all sorts of stuff. You know, it's been a wild ride, but I'm really excited because we're going to be meeting with our financial advisor when we get back from vacation and we're going to get all sorts of stuff going that honestly needed to get going a while ago. So I'm really excited for that. I'm excited for the next steps. I'm excited to have our emergency fund done and to start paying off our house and to um, invest more aggressive, aggressively and just all sorts of different things. I'm really just pumped to like move forward and like go into the next chapter of our financial journey. So anyways, that is it for this one. I, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. For any of those who are impacted by Hurricane Ian, I am praying for you. We are, as of right now, still planning to go to North Carolina. Um, you know, we have been watching the weather very closely, but yeah, it's definitely scary. I've seen some of the footage of the wreckage and it's heartbreaking. So I just am praying for everyone who's been impacted. Um, my heart goes out to you. And yeah, so anyways, that is it for this one. Again, I will see you all next week, which sounds kind of crazy. It's a little sad. It's kind of sad, but it's all good. So I will see you all next weekend. <laughs> all right, bye guys.